Hi guys and welcome back to another little news video and this week we're talking about Intel and in specific we're talking about Intel Kaby Lake 8th gen so unless you've been living under a stone for the last month or so you know this is coming out Intel have been making a big deal about it Intel had already told us it was going to run on their new 300 series chipset motherboards but what they hadn't confirmed was the socket well that news is out of the bag now guys so ASRock made a bit of a mistake and they um uploaded a list of CPU compatibility to their website which was quickly taken down however in that sort of I don't know three hours it was on their website and live lots of different news outlets such as Tom's Hardware and Antec, WCCF Tech to name but a few did some screenshotting and it makes for pretty interesting reading so let's just get down to brass tacks guys <laughs> um, so like I said now we know uh, for definite that Coffee Lake is on 300 series motherboards however we also know that definitely it's on socket 1151 which is a bitter pill to swallow for current users um, it kind of makes it hard to justify the upgrade from 8 month old Cabby Lake to Coffee Lake because Cabby Lake's on 200 series and uses 1151 and Coffee Lake is on the 300 series motherboard but uses 1151 however you cannot take your Coffee Lake CPU and put it in a 200 series motherboard. Um, which for me is is totally, um, it's totally about marketing, it's totally about Intel selling more motherboards, selling more chipsets, selling more chips. That's all it's about. It's about making money. They could have easily made Coffee Lake work with a 200 series motherboard. I mean, I'm, I doubt it's hardware encoded. I'm pretty sure it's just CPU microcode. Um, but you know Intel have form for this form for this. They've done it in the past. They're gonna do it again um, And it's just I can't see a lot of people wanting to update from um, Cabby Lake which they bought like I say eight months ten months ago to um, Coffee Lake now The only difference this time with what Intel have done is at least this time if you do move to Coffee Lake You are gonna get extra cores on the mainstream platform We've seen that with their lineup, you know, they're they're um, they're releasing six core chips that are twelve threaded now, which is about time. Um, but still, the way Intel are handling their marketing at the moment is a bit of a mess, I think, compared to where AMD are. I think the way they're trying to force people onto a new platform is a joke, considering AMD have already said they're going to support socket AM4 till twenty twenty. Um, so you don't have to worry about backwards compatibility, like in. Next year, if they release uh, another um, Ryzen CPU, I can take out my 1600 and drop that right in there, and with a BIOS update, it'll work. Um, and that takes a lot of the sting out of upgrading um, generation to generation, I think. So it's an odd one that Intel have chosen to do this, but again, they have form for it, and it basically boosts their sales. It gets everyone onto a new platform. And it's a bit what Microsoft do with Windows. You know, after so many years, they just support um, a certain version, stop supporting a certain version of Windows just to force everyone to upgrade essentially. And we've seen that with the difference between Windows 7 and Windows 10 with Microsoft saying, you know, there, there are too many inherently hard-coded differences between 7 and 10, so we're going to stop supporting 7. Everyone has to move on to 10 because that's what we're supporting, which is absolute nonsense. The, the kernel is no different between Windows 7 and Windows 10. And again, for me, I think if someone was to take apart one of these 200 series motherboards and one of these 300 series motherboards and have a really hard look at them i imagine there's no real hardware difference between them apart from maybe um the amount of pcie connectivity offered etc etc so again yeah difficult one to swallow for intel users there um i certainly wouldn't be happy about that um there were a couple of other things that came out of the the list that asrock asrock published by mistake so one of the interesting things for me was that we actually got level 3 cache confirmed so we, um asrock also listed that the core i3-8350k will come with eight megabytes of cache and the i5 series will come with nine megabytes of cache so previously it had been indicated that it would have been six and eight megs respectively um so there were some other interesting things that that came out of that um but mainly i think it's going to be hard for intel to justify to their users why they they should um why they should upgrade from an eight month old platform 
to Coffee Lake and have to buy a new motherboard, basically. I think that's a hard pill to swallow. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be doing that. Unless I... Uh, I mean, the only reason I would be moving to Coffee Lake if I was... Would I even move if I was on a Haswell? I probably wouldn't. I did a video recently looking at a Haswell i7 that I kind of kneecapped into an i5 and it played games absolutely perfectly. Um, if you're doing other stuff, if you want to get into... Um, I mean, and then even if you wanted to get into streaming or editing or things like that, buy a Ryzen 5, buy a 1600, buy a 1700. It's You get much more bang for your buck. And plus that socket will be supported for the next one, three years, three years on top of now, so you don't have to worry about motherboard compatibility. Anyway, guys, that's just a little bit of news out of the way. And I hope you're enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to share and like if you're already a subscriber. And I'll catch you again in another great video. Bye.